I'm back at Steve's Woods. We're going to see if we can find a scotch pine. We got lots of scotch pine needles and cones, but uh, I don't remember seeing a scotch pine. So we're going to find a scotch pine and see what it looks like here out in the woods. See if we can find any orange. This is the bugger right here. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if that's a jack pine. Definitely not a red. Notch. Yeah, it does not look like a scotch. I'm starting to wonder because that tree, that mystery one that's actually alive where my pines are, I think is a jack pine. <laughs> Should have brought my book. That'd be interesting. All this whole time, those trees I've been collecting fatwood on that are dead just might be a jack pine because the jack pine does not have the orange on it. I have a red pine pine cone. A little bit rounder. No point. A lot of red pines here. Our mystery tree. Is your name Jack? You're right. The cones are pointing away from the tree. Boy. And that tree I was talking about in my video where I said they're pointing towards the tree. When I was editing it, you could actually see the the cones before I said they were pointing towards the tree were all pointing away from the tree. Yeah, scotch and jack pine have the same pine cones and they're pointed. The red pine are rounded. Look at this big one. Oh, there's a big mystery tree. Short needles and dark green too. A lot of the red pines have green prickly bushy needles but they're not as dark you especially notice it in the winter time with the snow it's like wow you can really see the scotch and jack pine just really dark 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 needles compared to the red this is my mystery tree that I'm trying to identify this one yeah cut me off a chunk of that fat wood there that'll help me tell it's not holding up that dead tree yeah, it's always good fat wood. Look at the Maya dust. Really thick and chunky. Scotch? It actually looks like scotch pine. Mm hmm. Mm. And smells good. All the lower branches, like I was talking about before. Yeah. Just it's like my mystery got, tree. But that's almost sweet like red, but I know it's not. I mean, like white. Smell that again and think of white pine. Right, but white pine has that uh, mayonnaise tint to it, and that doesn't have it. That's why I keep thinking my mystery tree is a scotch pine, because of the way the branches are. Well, but where's the orange? It's dead. There's that tree everybody likes. Big old oak tree. Slender man tree, people call it. Just found what I was looking for. Been standing here the whole time. Oh, huh? that's another one. Cool. This is what we're looking for right here. And they all point away from the tree. What do you think? Jack pine? Now, how do the cones form on a scotch pine, do you know? Same as the jack, only the majority point back towards the tree. And the jack point away from the tree. Those all point away, it looks like. Yeah, but this is the same bark as that tree we're thinking is a jack. There's another oh, one I don't there, think too. So at all. You don't think that's the same bark as the live trees we were looking at? No. Nope. You know what? On the west side of the tree, it's different. It's the same, though, isn't it? Mm, you might be in the ballpark. With what you're saying. Because there can't be that many di different types of mystery trees. <laughs> yeah, it matches. Oh, I'm indecisive. Because I see things like this that look like shingles overlapping mm -hmm. and stuff, and then this is more. Because it's more worn. Maybe.
So maybe there isn't scotch pine out here. Excuse scotch. Me? That looks too short to be scotch. Yeah, but where I go, where there's scotch pines are actually on the tree, the signs, the scotch pine get that short and the scotch pine get this long. They vary. Does the jack have two also? Yes. Because these definitely do not have the spiral. These yep. could be brand new babies being on the end of a branch. But they definitely do. I mean, they're like whoop, right together. Just like the scotch pine gets confused with the red, the scotch pine often get confused with the jack. Red pine. Red pine. Mystery tree. Found another curly tree top. And that's probably the bottom of it. I suppose I should take this one with me. It's kind of funny. I saw one of these before that was rather pointed and funny in the middle. Yeah, the dug fur needles are flat and they got like a lighter color on the bottom. Let me go grab those ones. These are slightly flat. Yeah. The reds are kind of round. The jack and scotch are flat. See, they're kind of triangle. Even though we don't have a lot of jack pine in our area, we're not familiar with jack pine. Jack pine isn't quite in our vocabulary. We know so many trees, but we don't know the jack pine yet. But that's very similar to the live tree back home. I'm not even going to bother bringing these home because I have enough of them. They're all the same. I think you got me. I did not find a single scotch pine here. One that was a possibility, but no. No orange, no scotch pine, and it's looking more and more like the jack pine. As I was editing my last series, part 7 and 8, I started to realize even though there were cones pointing back at the tree there were more cones pointing away from the tree and I, like I said the one way to tell the difference between the scotch and the jack pine is the jack points away and the scotch points towards the cones do I'll have to research it but I do believe jack pine cones have to be in the fire to open up and I never see one of these cones open they're always closed really tight. A lot of pine cones have to be in certain high temperature fire to open up for the tree to replant. And my understanding is that's what this, the jack pine is, and I'm gonna research that. But I haven't seen any of these cones open. My theory is pointing more and more and more towards the jack pine. And Steve agrees. When he first came here and looked up, his first thought was Douglas fir and uh, now it looks more like, as he looks closer, he agrees, it looks like a jack pine. And that's one tree we're not very familiar with, and it's time Ooh, we're learning. Good way to learn, I guess. We're familiar with the white and the red and the scotch and the Norway spruce and the blue spruce, but we're not familiar with the jack pine. So that's it. We're going to be doing a video about the jack pine. Go back to the Kellogg Forest and get more familiar with the jack pine again. This looks like jack pine. Thank you, dear. Oh, the bugs got better at the end there, didn't they? like a cozy place for a sasquinch. Do you have a lot of sasquinches over here? <laughs> There's a few I've run across. <laughs> <laughs> I hear deer or something, people. I sound like a squirrel. Another sasquinch? 
Come over here, Sasquinches upon us.